I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. So I'm going to do a home automation project in the container home here. And uh, I'm going to use these LCD screens that are uh, pretty much ready to go for Raspberry Pi. They've got a plug on the back of them. The Pi just slaps on. It's good to go. Um, so far the power supply um, feeds both the LCD and the Pi without any problems. It'll actually run both of them so it's not a very big power hog and the price is price is hard to beat. So anyway the software is based upon uh, Star Trek LCAR's interface for Raspberry Pi using Pi Game. Um, pretty easy to program, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not so sure I'll even get to that uh, my reservations on that later. So let's uh, let's see what I've got so far for the front screen and everything. So here we have the HAL 9000 L cars interface. Um, kind of customize the images a little bit, kind of make it fun. We'll go ahead and uh, log in here. Login is one two three four. Accessing. Now, see, everybody's seen this before. This is pretty much standard stuff. Got some images I threw in here to, you know, give it sort of a HAL, HAL 9000 look. Uh, lights doesn't do anything. Camera doesn't do anything. Energy doesn't do anything. We'll, we'll uh, be hooking up to the Xantrex um, Modbus software so that we can pull in the, uh, the information from the solar inverter, the battery charger, solar panels, all of that stuff. And be able to, since it's a touch screen um, interface, we'll be able to push a button, start the backup generator, push a button, turn it off, push a button, turn off high load demand devices off if need be, like, um, <coughs> well, I don't know, um, deep freezes, things like that, because uh, they don't need to really be running in the middle of the night sucking up battery power. So, <coughs> about the only thing I've got. The about the only functional thing I've got so far is the weather station and it shows weather in animated GIF form. Um, we'll show, or I'll get into it in a minute here, basically these are all pulled from the, the NOAA weather site and downloaded in individual images, numbered images basically. We use image magic to convert them into a um, animated GIF and that's what these are. So we can see what the wind conditions are, waves are, forecast is, radar, all of these things can be taken over. Now the problem with this is this whole interface is, is programmed in, uh, in Python and the way it's set up is that there's basically one screen um, this screen here that shows it's basically this screen here that shows everything that uh, that was going on. So let's put this and put the sensors in there. It's got the gauges that come up. The weather button never existed. But basically, all these images are loaded dynamically when the when the program is activated, and it's not too handy because. Um, it doesn't automatically because we gotta we gotta use uh, wget to pull the images from the internet and then we gotta use image magic to put them into animated gifs for display on here because this doesn't automatically load the images up it kinda well here count the time <coughs> wasn't really immediately took a second for it to come up. Accessing. And then this reloads all the weather images back into the memory because it's an actually a new page like this one that doesn't have all this stuff on it. I'm kind of sixes as if uh, maybe I can just do this with a web browser. It seems like it might be 
might be handier that way. Although that this is this is kind of been a fun little project to work on so far. So here's some of the uh, logic that we got going behind all this. Um, you may have noticed that the weather radar images that are on there are put into animated GIFs. So we'll, we'll basically take a look and see how I did this. Might not be the right way, but it works. So inside of here we've got um, multiple scripts like uh, radar 00, radar 01, etc., etc. We'll take a look at radar 00. And the reason we've got multiple scripts is because every time we download one of these images, it's from the same place, and that image updates on their website every 10 minutes or so. So we only want to get um, the freshest image, and we don't want to overwrite the old image because later on the script automatically puts it into a GIF image, uh, an animated GIF. So we basically have one of these for every five minutes or ten minutes or whatever it is. And it downloads the GIF, puts it into an animated GIF, and then the L cars can basically load it in. So anyway, this is part one of uh, the home automated L cars HAL 9000, one to the customer only, super dupers. Um, Hopefully we'll get you some pictures and stuff of the circuit board um, display. Um, they're just kind of hanging in the wall right now. Got my good friend Thomas that's going to be printing me out a uh, frame for the LCD to mount on the wall. So it'll look, it, I've got some surprises, it's going to look pretty awesome. Um, it's even going to have the little uh, fish eye HAL 9000 lens on it. It's going to be awesome. So. If you like it, subscribe it, like it up, put comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.